Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add text recognition capability to your Android app using MLKit and Jetpack Compose. If you are looking for adding this capability with a traditional view system, then I have given link in the description below where I have talked about how you can do it with the existing view system. But this tutorial is for MLKit with Jetpack Compose. So let's start with it. Switch to Gradle and add the dependency for text recognition and the camera X. Also, in the manifest, ask for the camera permission. Also, add this metadata. This metadata is useful if you want to download the model as soon as this app get installed. If you do not add this, then first time when you try to use the ML model, at that time it will try to download the model. Now let's come back to our Jetpack Compose. So now I have this main activity and inside this I have all my composable. But there's one drawback currently. With Jetpack Compose, we do not have a camera view. Camera X is only available with the traditional view system. And here there's nothing called as view with Jetpack Compose. They are all composable. So they are not quite same actually. They are different. So in this tutorial you will not only see about how to add text recognition but you will also learn how you can use the traditional views inside Jetpack Compose. Let's see how to do it. So once you create this project, you'll see something like drawable, mip map, and values. Add a layout folder. Inside that, add the view which you want to inflate there or use there. Because I just want preview view from here. The rest everything I have with the Jetpack Compose. So I just have a preview view here. Preview view with match and match. Altogether that I'm going to change in the Jetpack Compose. But this idea is important. So once you have this layout ready, switch to the activity and here we can inflate that. We, we are going to use that preview view here. So let's see step by step. This theme is something which you get by default as soon as you create the project. Surface is just for the background surface. If you want to add, add it, it's purely optional. And this is where we are doing all our work. Text recognizer. So here I have this camera view, which is using the preview view, which we have defined here. And I'll show you in a moment. But before that, this text. So text is something which you'll see at the bottom of the screen. As you've seen earlier in the video that there is a camera view and whatever is being read, it's shown at the bottom. So that content is with this. The text is at the bottom of the screen because gravity is set to the bottom center with width given as like a match parent. So occupy the entire width of the screen. It's also having a shadow and a cut corner shape. The shape which I've seen like on the top, it was a rounded shape. That was all because of this rounded corner shape. Then the background is white and padding is given for the text as 16 dp. But one strange thing which you might be seeing here is this remember block. And how do this text is getting updated? So this text is getting updated because of this extracted text. So remember means that if this method gets recomposed, then do not reinitialize it. And the values that you're seeing that's getting changed, it's all because of this mutable state of. So this mutable state of add an observer to the read and write. So that means whenever you're trying to read using this mutable state of, and if the value changes, it will automatically recompose that composable, which means that this text will get recomposed. And that's where you see a different text written on screen. So that was about the text which you're seeing at the bottom of the screen. Now let's come to the main part where we are inflating camera. So here it is. It's again a composable 
because we are dealing with this on screen content changes because this life cycle owner is important for camera x so this life cycle owner is something which you can get from the life cycle owner ambient same you can also get context using context ambient these two are important for setting up this like or configuring the camera x then even if this get recomposed we don't want to reinitialize this thing so it is added with the remember and it is just like for process camera provider we are initializing this and camera executor because we are going to pass this camera executor to the image analyzer so here we have initialized it with the single thread executor text recognizer this is doing all the work on this text recognizer we are going to pass the image and now about initializing the camera preview so preview you as I said that we are going to inflate the view which we have seen in the layout this view we want this view so here create an object of it it requires context context something which you have already got it here using the context ambient and in the ID give the ID whatever you have specified here so by this way, you are just initializing this preview view, but it will not inflate currently. So now your preview view is ready, where you have also specified the ID that you want this preview view. Now, how to get it inflated with this Jetpack Compose? For that, we have Android view. With Android view, you have a view block. Inside this view block, you have to specify the views which you want to display, render on screen. Here it's preview view and that's it. Just by using this, we are using the view with a existing layout system inside this Jetpack Compose. Also, I want this Android view to occupy full screen, like full width and height. So modifier is set to fill max size. And by this way, not just this camera view, you can also inflate any other view which is only available with the traditional layout system and it's not available currently with the Jetpack Compose. So this tutorial is made with Jetpack Compose Alpha 2. So maybe in future you may have the camera view support for the Jetpack Compose, but for now we do not have it. So this is one of the way to use camera view with the Jetpack Compose. And all these things remain same, like the traditional way of coding and using this camera X. This is exactly same, no changes in this. We have our image analyzer. Apart from this image analyzer, all of them is useful for setting up this camera configuration, defining which camera we want to use as the back camera or front cam, and also bind to the life cycle of this camera provider. But this image analyzer is important for us because here we are doing our work of text recognition. So here it is. This is extending this image analyzer. And uh, we are also passing the text recognizer and extracted text. This text recognizer and extracted text is something which we are getting from here. Text recognizer and camera executor. And then we are passing it as a constructor parameter. So here we want to take this frame, extract text out of it, and then show result on screen. So that's where we are taking the image. If this image is not null, then using this input image, transform it to the machine learning model understandable format, and then pass it to the text recognizer.process. That's it. And also, do not forget to close this. If you are getting this kind of error, like internal error has occurred while executing ML task, then it's all because before processing the frame, the image object, which you are making it here, this might have got closed. If that is the reason, then add it inside this listener. Otherwise, you can add it outside also. However, this is all true, all good, till the extent of recognizing content from the image but we are also setting it to the text view. How do we are doing? 
I haven't specified anywhere set to the text view. So that's all because of the extracted text dot value. Now, if you remember that this is nothing but the mutable state of, and inside this text, we are reading the value from this mutable state of. Here it is. Extracted text is an object of mutable state of with a default value of empty string. And then we are passing this extracted text to the camera view. This camera preview is taking this object and then again passing it to our analyzer here. And on that object itself, we are setting the value whatever we are getting from this text recognizer. And as I said, it, it set an observer. So as soon as I'm changing the value for it, it will recompose the composition wherever this value is read. So here we are reading in the text. So it will recompose it. And because of the recomposition, you will see the value, updated value in the text. That's it in this video. I hope this might be helpful for you to understand about how to add ML feature to the Android app using Jetpack Compose. Also, how to inflate the traditional views with the Jetpack Compose using Android View. And if you have liked this video, then hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe this channel. Thank you and stay tuned.